Hi, I'm Pete Carini with Biodynamic, and what we have here is our Lagoon ANC headphone. And uh, our Lagoon ANC headphone gives you the ability to tailor uh, the headphones according to your day-to-day -day listening habits and enjoy active noise canceling. Lagoon ANC, we have our light guide system where these lights, uh, they light up, uh, uh, basically orange means your ANC is turned on. Sometimes it'll pulsate red, that means your battery is going low. And then uh, like a green light will give you a full charge, it means you have a full charge. There's a uh, touch control on the right ear cup, volume up, volume down. Next track, back track, and it's also, there's an, uh, a microphone in here, so you could communicate on your uh, smart device. And uh, the Lagoon is $299. Also new, this is the Biodynamic Amiron Wireless Copper. And uh, the Amiron Wireless, you're basically uh, gonna get 30 hour battery life on here. Audio codecs are AAC and Aptex HD. You got a 32 ohm Tesla driver. It's very efficient. And uh, we're also giving you a, a wired cable just in case you don't wanna do the, uh, the wireless thing. If, if your battery runs out, we're, we're providing you a cable. And uh, the Amiron Wireless is $699. And you can find it on audio46.com. Hey guys, I'm Austin. I'm with Empire Ears. We're out here at the Can Jam Show in New York City. Very excited to be showing a few products. Uh, we're showing everything, but specifically highlighting the Wraith and the Valkyrie this year. Uh, they're two of our new electrostatic models. Uh, the Valkyrie being a tribrid, so being a dynamic driver, a balanced armature driver and electrostat. The Wraith being strictly balanced armature and electrostats, a seven balanced armature drivers. It was the world's first quad electrostatic driver. Both incredible sounding, both have been very popular at the show this weekend. The Wraith comes with a Cleopatra cable, which is very exciting because it's a super high-end cable to be coming stock with that. Uh, and additionally, the Valkyrie comes with the Eros cable. So those have been a huge hit at the show. Uh, if you're looking for something that fits that electrostatic mold that's not gonna need an additional amp to power that, this is the perfect product for you. Uh, if you like something exciting and fun with a heavy low end, but the extended high is an electrostat, the Valkyrie is perfect, but if you really like that accentuated detail with really lots of highs, but just in a spectrum across the board being humongous in the sound stage, the Wraith is definitely the model for you. If you're at Can Jam NYC, or if you're at any Can Jam shows in the future, please stop by our booth and check them out. Uh, my name is Kyo, and I am from uh, Final Audio Japan. So this time, uh, I'm at Can Jam. Uh, New York, and then what we brought here is our latest A8000. So this is our latest IAM A8000, which features single, bar truly barium dynamic driver. What is so special about this one is that barium driver, maybe for some users that who have been like really familiar with the focal utopia, I think they know about the potential of a barium driver. And then now we are bringing that one into so small into the IEM. So this one, our concept is that we want to bring a very transparent sound with a very good separations between an instrument into a single IEM. This time what we have done is that we have brought um, two new technologies into it is that one is Tetra Chamber. So what the Tetra Chamber means is that in this single IEM there are four chambers to control the air movement inside the around the drivers another one is that for most of the drivers is that um, we are having the flexible gums to attach the driver onto the housings but when we have a flexible gums between the driver and the housings when the driver vibrates the vibrate uh, the driver itself will resonance itself at a certain frequencies and then it's going to cause the sound to change so what we do this time is that we are direct mounting the driver onto the housing and then we're using a very hard glue and then to do this maybe it sounds very easy but actually it needs a very high accuracy. Hi I'm Tom from Sennheiser and today we're at Can Jam New York City and we're just going to show you what we're showing at the table which are the new models. Starting at the bottom we have an updated HD 4.50 this is the new 450 BT comes in two different colors, white or black. We also have the updated PXC 550 Mark II. This is great for travel. 
folds nice, powers on, fantastic active noise cancellation, all touch controls on the sides like this. So a great comfort fit, nice ear, teardrop shape. We have a new re released Momentum wireless. So this is a, a redesign. It's the same form factor as the original, but it has a larger ear cup, fantastic active noise cancellation, and all your controls are on the, this is a little tab, you can take this off, but this shows you everything that it does, so active noise cancellation. It also has um, voice assist, so you can call Siri, you can call, etc. All the other models at the table are uh, here from last year. There's a true Momentum True Wireless, uh, which is a great, great product. The HD660S, which is a really nice version of uh, the 600 series. And then our two flagships, HD800 and the S and the HD820, which is the closed back version of that. Hi, my name is Roger. I'm with Hi-Fi Man. We're introducing this year a brand new headphone called the Deva, D-E-V-A. This is a Bluetooth design headphone. Uh, it has a dongle on the bottom that will allow you to do Bluetooth. Uh, rechargeable, holds about four hours worth of charge. You can remove it and place a cable into it and run it to your amplifier so you're no longer restricted to doing just one or the other. Another aspect that makes it really nice is we can do a USB also. So you can run a USB from your computer to the dongle and it'll decode whatever you need to decode. We have brand new headband design, very, very comfortable. Also a lot of flexibility in both the turning and the coil, so it should fit anybody very, very comfortably as far as that's concerned. And this will be coming out sometime, I hope, next month, around $2.99 a set. Okay, hi, I'm Chris from Odyssey Headphones, and uh, today we have at Cam Jam a prototype of our closed back uh, Felix headphone. Probably gonna be out uh, middle of the year. It's gonna have Bluetooth connectivity with Aptex. Uh, it's gonna have an analog connection, and it's gonna be an active headphone with between 60 and 72 hours of battery life. Um, folds up to a small shape. It's, it's basically the same case work as our LCD-1 headphone, which is an open back headphone that came out earlier. Um, but this is the closed back version, and we've done active DSP to ameliorate the effects of closing the back. And it'll come with this nice case right here. And that's, that's essentially all we know at this moment. Bluetooth 5, Aptex HD, um, and retail price will be probably somewhere close to what LCD one is, maybe a little bit higher because there's more stuff inside. Hi, this is Jason from uh, Astell and Kern. We're here at uh, Can Jam New York City 2020, showing off some of our new products. Uh, what I have here is our SA700. This is a brand new player from Aston Kern, was released at the end of December. It's an intermediate model, so it's a mid-tier. Uses dual AKM, AK4492 DAX, a uh, separate DAC for each channel. 128 gigabytes of internal memory, micro SD card slot, which will take up to a one terabyte micro SD card. So plenty of storage space for all your music. Uh, we have music streaming services built into it. Uh, we currently support 26 different music streaming services around the world. Stuff, popular stuff like Koba's, Tidal, Amazon Music, Deezer, Apple Music. And this player is actually throwback to a, one of our original players, the AK120, which was released seven years ago. So the design is similar to it, where we have the same uh, volume control design and the look and feel of it is very much like the AK120, but a much more powerful processor, music streaming services, Wi-Fi connectivity, which were not included in the original. And then um, we also have like the micro SD card slot with the little sliding cover, like on the original player that we had. And this uses USB-C, which was a step up from the micro USB that was used in that original player seven years ago. So this currently retails for uh, 1,300 US dollars.